The next video in the ILL series will walk you through how to place an interlibrary loan request in LEAP and will show you how these requests appear to a patron in the online catalog. The handout that accompanies this video does include more detail about the process and presents some workflow options to consider. The first step in the Polaris ILL process is to place an unlocked hold and convert it to an ILL request. Open a patron's record. Navigate to the Holds Held tab. Click New Hold. Instead of filling out information in the title field or using the Find tool, click Unlock. You will receive an alert. Click Unlock to continue. What this action does is unlock the data fields for you to fill out. Follow your local practice for filling out the fields. One common practice among libraries is to include some sort of ILL designation in one of the fields. When ready, click Place Hold. The hold has been placed and it should now be in unfillable status. This just means the request cannot locate a matching item in the CCS database. Our next step is to convert it to an ILL request. Select the checkbox next to the request and click Convert to ILL. Once you convert the request, it will move from the patron's Holds Held tab to their ILL Held tab. The ILL Held tab is where staff can view all the patron's current out-of-system holds. Clicking on an entry will open the ILL request record. This record is important. We aren't able to continue on with any of the ILL steps without it. As you can see, it looks a lot like a normal hold request record, except here you are able to modify the title information. I'm closing out of the ILL request record so we can view the patron's ILL held tab again. ILL requests have their own set of request statuses. Some of these look a little different than the normal hold statuses. For example, when we first place an ILL request, it will have a status of inactive. The handout will go into more detail on the hold statuses and how workflow may affect what statuses appear to patrons and staff. Let's pause for a moment to see how this ILL request looks on a patron's account in the online catalog. While normal holds and ILL holds are separated into two different tabs in Leap, they are all listed together in the Power Pack. Patrons will see the title, hold status, and pickup location, but are unable to click on the entry to view more detailed title information. If they click the little I to see the request details, they will see a note that this is an interlibrary loan request. You just learned how to place an ILL request in LEAP and have seen what it looks like from the patron's point of view. In the next video, you'll learn how to locate ILL request records in LEAP. If you have any questions, please email help at ccslib.org.